What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you're just starting off and you're looking to screen print, some of the things that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to coat your screens, you're going to have to burn your screens, and you're going to have to wash them out. So this video is going to be for someone that is starting off like myself. I've been doing this for a little bit. I haven't been doing it for a long time. So I've had some people ask me how I coat my screens, burn my screens, and then wash them out. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that. But remember, the screen press that I'm going to be using is really cheap. This is what it looks like right here. And then also this is going to be the light that I'm going to be using whenever I get ready to burn my screens. And then this is the washout booth that I made so I can wash out my own screens. And so if you're new to my channel, I don't have no fancy thing where I store my screens. Uh, this is what I use right here. This is my table that I made for my screen press. And then underneath it, you can see on the bottom, when I open up the door, there is some racks in there that I made where I store my screens uh, whenever I coat them. So that's where I put them. It's something simple, something easy for me. All right, so that's some of the stuff that we're going to be doing in this video. Like I always say in my videos, um, there's plenty of ways to do things. Everybody has their own way of doing things. This is just the way that I do it because of the setup that I have right now. And then if you watched my last video, I told you Total Ink Solutions was gonna send me some inks. So we got the, we got the package in right here. So they sent me this right here. And then they sent me this, it looks like a screen. Um, they did ask for my logo. So we're gonna open up this stuff and check it out, see what's inside of it. Inside of it. Right, so they sent the Predator white ink. Bright white. Gold. I think this is the same gold that I already have. But we'll see. So mint green. I have I have holiday green. Here's the holiday green and then they sent me the mint green. So we'll try those out. Well oh, this one. Let's see what else? Another white. All oh, purpose white. So that's three whites. I think I have some of these whites already, but and then the last one that's in there is a purple. All right, so to show you what they sent me again, this is the one that they sent me. They sent me this bright white. You've already seen me use it because there it is right there. So they sent this one. But then the next one they sent was the Predator white. I have the Predator white already. So they got that one. And then this, this gold right here is the one that they sent me. 24 karat gold. I think it looks the same as this gold that I've been using in my other videos. You've seen me use all those. So basically... Um, the bright white, the all-purpose white, the purple and the green, the mint green. Everything else you've seen me use. Uh, this is a glitter. This one's glitter. Um, that's not glitter. I know this. So this is this purple is glitter. So we're gonna open up this one and look at it. According to the invoice, this is a screen. I know they were asking for my my logo. So let's open up this and be careful. Alright, now here's what was in that. They sent my logo on a screen. This is a 30 mesh screen, which would be for the glitter. Uh, so that's gonna be, I guess we could try this purple on here. So We'll give that a try in another video. So this is some of the stuff that Total Ink Solutions sent me, so I appreciate it. We'll be giving these inks a try later on in another video. Um, I just wanted to show you what they did send me. So uh, Total Ink Solutions, I appreciate you guys sending me this stuff. But we will be using it in another video, and I'll let you guys know exactly how it worked. All right, so whenever I bought this screen printing kit um, setup thing, it came with this light bulb right here. This, this yellow light bulb is what I use whenever I go ahead and I coat my screens. Um, I'm in the garage. I don't know if I really need that because I don't have too much light. I mean, I'm using my lights, but I wouldn't use these lights 
whenever I'm coating my screens because they're too bright. But whenever I am coating my screens, I turn off all the lights in here and I use that light and it gives plenty of light. So let me show you how that's done. All right, so here's the light that we're gonna be using. This is, like I said, just a yellow light. It's on a fixture that I have screwed to my bench right here. Um, you can do whatever you want. If you have a fixture inside your garage, you can use that. Or if you just wanna use a lamp, uh, use a lamp, whatever you have, you could use it. So, so this is a two car garage and this, this lamp, this light gives plenty of light to go ahead and coat your screens. All right, so I turned the light on real quick. I just wanted to show you what type of emulsion I'm using. This is from Ryanet, the pink emulsion. This is all that I've used since I started. It's already pre-mixed. Um, basically, this is all I know. I know there's two different types that you can get. You can get one that you gotta mix or you gotta put some kind of additive inside of it. Uh, this one's already pre-mixed. That's why I like using it. I don't wanna have to worry about mixing it and not mixing it right. So with this one right here, everything's already, the mixture's already included or it's already, it's already mixed. So all I gotta do is just coat the screens and it's good to go. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn this light back off and then we're gonna coat these screens with this right here. This one actually came with the setup that I have. Um, and then again, if you can see this, you can see that it is pink whenever I pour it out. So this one's almost done. We should have enough here to do, um, all, just, we're only doing three screens, so it should be enough to do these three screens. That should be plenty because whenever you put this on there, I try not to put a really thick coat. So whenever you get ready to coat screens, um, those of you that do this, I, get, I know you guys know, but those of you that are just starting off, uh, you want to make sure that there's no grease on the screen because what that could cause is pinholes. So I use this stuff right here. It's called the pink stuff. And with the pink stuff, what it does is it eliminates the the haze whenever after you print something it'll leave like some ink stains on there so the pink stuff will eliminate that and then it also degrease the screen also so um, this is what I use it's called the pink stuff it's pretty good stuff right here all right so I'm trying to give you an angle to where you can see the way I'm doing this right uh, all right so if you can see this right here the scoop coder you can see it has this angle right here and then it's flat right here so so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean it here and then I'm gonna tip it so which, whenever you tip it, you want to get this angle touching the mesh. I'm going to tip it like this, and what I'm doing right here is I'm letting the emulsion drain to the screen. So once it coats, or once it gets to the screen down there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up. And then when I get to the top, um, it's going to be a thick piece up there, like a thick line of it. So I'm going to tilt it back. See how I tilted it back like this? And then I'm just going to do like a little saw motion to get the remainder of it off. So if you think you got too much on there, what I usually do is I go over it again. I just, just come back and do it again. That's just the way I always do all of mine and I've never had any problems with it. That's how I do the print side. Now we're going to flip it around and do the other side. The inside where the ink's going to go, I'll put it on there again and do the exact same thing. I bring it up. Tap it where it needs to go. All right, so here's what I look for whenever I do my screens. I just look for it to be like nice and pink. If you look up here where you see it's how it's very dark, that's okay because um, as long as it's not where the print's gonna be, it's good. So I look to see if there's anything really thick there. As long as there's not, it's good to go. The, the outside, the bottom is all good. As long as wherever you're gonna put your image, it has a nice, um, I guess you could even coat. So mine looks good, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna store it away. All right, so here's where I'm gonna store them. I don't wanna leave it open too long, but this is where I store them. Um, I mean, I just close this up. I've even closed the whole thing so that it'll stay dark in there. Um, you just wanna make sure you don't put too much emulsion on there like I was saying, because this will happen. I have done it before, as you can see. Um, I put too much emulsion on there, and then when I opened it up the next day, it had dripped everywhere. So make sure you have a really nice thin coat on there so that this doesn't happen. Right, so that's the first part, um, putting emulsion on the screens and then storing them wherever you're gonna store them. Uh, like I said, just don't put too much emulsion on there. You really can't mess it up. Make sure there's no grease in there so you don't get no pinholes. And then the last thing I did was I washed this out. So before you wash this out, uh, you can get these little cards right here. Usually when you order inks, they send you these or you order emulsion. Uh, as you can see, this card has the perfect angles. So whenever you go to scoop your emulsion out, you can just scoop it right back into the container or whatever you're putting it into. So uh, we got some left over. Like I said, we did three screens and I still have enough for probably one or two. So uh, make sure you clean this out so the emulsion doesn't get hard in there. Then it's gonna be really hard to clean up. All right, so real time, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do these screens. 
Uh, but camera time, editing time, we'll be right back. All right, so here we are, like I said, the second day or real quick the editing. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check out these screens that we did yesterday. I'm gonna shut these lights off right here. We'll use the lights in the garage. Hopefully it doesn't harden the emulsion with these, these lights that I have in here, but these, these bright ones, we're gonna turn them off. So I'm gonna show you what I look for uh, whenever I get ready to burn my screen. So let's go ahead and turn off these lights. All right, so here's one of them right here. This is one of them that we're gonna be doing. Um, as we can see, there was a little bit too much of emulsion right here. So as you can see, it, it almost dripped, but it didn't, so it was good. Um, you just don't want it to be wet whenever you pull this out. It can have like a little tack to it. If you can hear that. That's how I know that for me they're good. Everybody else, everybody has their own way of doing things. That's just the way I do it. If it has a tack like that, I know it's good. And then I'll always touch it somewhere where I know the print's not going to go. So this feels good, so the rest of them are going to be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you my little washout booth that I made. All right, so here is my washout booth. These are, as you can see, from the looks of it right here, or this picture right here, it's two totes. So if you look, this top piece is a tote, this bottom piece is a tote, then you can see the side, here's the handle, which would be for the top and the bottom. And then the, the lids that were on here, I, I don't know what I'd do with them, I probably threw them away. But these were to like to interlock them so you would just lock them in. Um, this is what it looked like, just like this. So what I did, is I put some bolts in here. If you look right here, you're gonna see there's a bolt right here, a bolt right there, a bolt like right here. Let's see if you can see this one right there. So I just did that all the way around. I put two, three, four, and then one more on this side. All right, so once I put all those together, now I have like a solid box. Uh, this side's already cut. That's why I'm showing you this side so I could show you what I did. I didn't make a video whenever I did it. And then the next thing I did is I came up here to this top corner or whatever corner you prefer and then drill a hole inside of it. The hole that I drilled was big enough to stick a jigsaw blade inside of it. Uh, with the jigsaw I just went across, went across and then I just went down and all the way down and all the way around. But whenever I got to the bottom I left like a one inch, one inch lip on here just to hold the screen in there. So I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Alright so here's the other side right here. As you can see nothing fancy. Just went ahead and I went across with the jigsaw, like I said. Uh, this was the, probably the hardest part because I was cutting through this thick stuff, but um, it ended up working out. So, like I said, all the way across, all the way down, and then at the bottom I left a little gap down there. Or not a gap, I left a little lip down here on the bottom. So that, whenever I put a screen in there, I don't have to worry about it falling out. Just so it can stay up in the upright position or whatever position that we're going to put it in. Then if that's not how you want it, you can go ahead. You lift this up, however you want to put it, it's going to stay in there. And if it does end up sliding, it's going to slide. It's going to hit that lip right there and it's not going to fall out. So this is what I mean. Water. All right, so where does the water go? If I put water in here, where does it go? Does it just go everywhere? Does it contaminate the earth? What am I doing? All right, so this is what I do. Um, if you, you, can't, you probably can't see it, but down there in that back corner over there, I drilled a hole. Probably a little half inch hole. Then if you look down there towards the bottom, you're going to see that yellow bucket. That yellow bucket, we have cats. So I accumulate a lot of these dang litter boxes like that. Well, not litter boxes, but the little containers that hold litter. And this is what it looks like. Just like this. Nothing fancy. Just like this to hold some water in there. Uh, just to spray out your screens. And then I let the water drain into that one. So then what I will do after that is I will use a screen, an old screen over there. I'll take this top piece off. I'll put the screen on top of here and then I will use a filter, an air filter from my house that I have extra ones and I will put it on top of this and then I will drain the water into here and then I'll put, then I'll switch that to the other one and I'll switch it back until it starts to clean up. Um, I know it's a process but being that I'm doing this out of my house, garage, um, for a beginner, this is the way I do it. Alright, so that's the way I do my screens whenever I get ready to wash them out. Is it the right way? No, it's my way. This is the way I do it. Um, people will probably say I'm doing it wrong, but everybody has their way of doing things. This is the way I do it. All right, so there it is. This is my little washout booth. The only thing that is not good is it doesn't have a light. Um, so you can see whenever you're blowing it out or you're washing it out, 
But once you put water on the screen on both sides, I usually turn the lights on so I can see what I'm doing. And I'll show you that part in a little bit whenever I get ready to wash out one of the screens. Starting off, and you can't afford a four or $500 washout booth, 15 bucks. And you can control the water and then you can filter your water off on the side and then dispose of it the way you need to dispose of it. All right, so here we go. This is what we're gonna be using right here. We're gonna be doing a repeat job. So we're gonna be using these right here. So we're gonna be doing the three color. It's gonna be silver. This is gonna be silver. This is gonna be gold. And this one is going to be the little touch of red. Um, you probably seen the last video that I did the last time. Um, we're, we got an order for an extra five more hoodies. So we're gonna be going ahead. I always save my transparent films for occasions like this, just in case they wanna do a repeat order. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So um, what I'm gonna show you now is how I line up my screens. All right, so then what I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be using a blank, blank screen. I'm just gonna show you so you can see how I line it up. Um, and then whenever we use the ones with the emulsion, I have to turn this light off right here because I don't want it to make the emulsion hard. So um, we'll have to change out the lights so that I can line those up. But for this, I'm going to show you how I line it up with these lines that I have on here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so when it comes to putting your print on here, you always want to put whatever side was printed facing up. And the way you can tell which side was printed is it has that little squeaky feel. So this side, if you listen, has the squeaky feel. If I turn it over to this side, it's just going to be slick. So whenever it comes time to printing your films also, you always want to do the squeaky side. Or you could just take your finger like this, put some water on it or lick it. Whatever side does that right there. Whatever side does that is the side you want to print on. All right? Hopefully you can see that. All right. so what I'm going to do now is I am going to... This is going on the back of the shirt. Well, the Sharpie that I use, I use a fine tip Sharpie because the registration marks that I made on here are really thin. I didn't make them bigger for a thicker Sharpie. So I use the fine tip Sharpie to make my lines and everything lines up with the fine tip Sharpie really good. All right, so in order to get this to stick up to this up here, um, you're gonna have to use some tape. So you use some tape like this, whatever you have. So basically I'm going to cut a piece about that big and then from here I'm going to cut it into littler pieces somewhere so that the screen whenever we lay it down on top of this will touch the tape sticking this sticking the film to the, the actual screen up there so um, we're going to go ahead we're going to line this up. All right, so this next part, we're going to use this, this line right here that says back. This is the back of the shirt. Um, we're going to use this cross intersection or this cross here right here with this one that we have right here for our registration mark here. So we're going to line this up just like that, making sure everything is straight. Once we got it there, we're not going to mess with it. We're not going to mess with it so that it stays straight. All right, so now that we got this lined up the way that we want to, uh, what you don't want to do is you don't want to slam this down because this thing could move just a little bit and just a little bit uh, moving uh, could mess up your print especially with this setup that I have it doesn't it's it's very um, cheap and it's very hard to register stuff if you don't get it right the first time so um, you have to make sure with this if you if you do go with this press screen printing setup thing that I have you have to make sure that you do this correctly because if not, you're going to have trouble with it. And everything's going to be off. So, we're going to line this up. Make sure it's good. And again, whenever you're doing this, you're going to be using either your pink emulsion or your blue emulsion or whatever color emulsions there are. You're going to be using whatever you're using. Um, but for this, for just to demonstrate what I'm going to show you, is to make sure that whenever you line this up, whenever you bring this down, you want to make sure that these lines, once you stick this tape on here, so all you're going to do is just come here where the tape is at and attach it to the actual screen. All right, so now that we got it attached to the screen, right, we want to make sure that these lines didn't move because if, if it moves to the left, if it moves to the left or it moves to the right or it can't one way or the other, everything will be off, like I said. So make sure everything stays straight. 
before you remove it because then you're going to have to redo it again. Then you just loosen these up and then your print will be on there just like this. All right, so like I always say, this is the way I do it. You know what I mean? There's a whole bunch of other ways you could do it. This is the way I do it. All right, so here we are right here. We got our pink one, our pink emulsion on there. And then I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to come over here, make sure that this thing is lined up. Bring it down. Lay it into place. And then I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to zoom in. But if you were looking for these lines right here to stay lined up with that. So that right there is good. So it should be good. All right, so now that we have all of this sticking, we're good to go. Then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna lift it up. All right, now that we got it how we want, these lines are all good to go. Um, I have mine numbered, they didn't come numbered, so that I can make sure that I stick this one back on this um, arm right here. So I have this one labeled at number two. So I will be putting this one back on number two. I usually put like a little number on there so that I know exactly where to put it. So then we'll just loosen this back up. Uh, once we pick it up, you're going to see that the image is on there. So, all right, so I showed you guys the light I was using earlier. Mine's it's just a plug-in. doesn't have a switch or anything. So I just plug it in. Um, everybody's time is going to be different, so I'm not going to tell you, oh, I do it for this amount of time, and then you do it for that, and it doesn't work. So um, you have to learn your own light system and how it works and go from there. And then I have this piece of glass that I like to put on top. Um, I guess we could say this piece of glass works like the vacuum. What it's doing is it's pushing the actual image onto the emulsion and then with this styrofoam that I have on the bottom actually helps also push it in. So we're going to go to, we're going to start this. Alright, so that screen's almost done but before we pull it out, I just want to show you what I use uh, whenever it comes to washing out my screens. I just use the shower, shoots like this. And this one is pretty cool because it has a lever right here so you can move it up or down to change the pressure that you're shooting out at it. Um, and it. And it does really good so that it doesn't blow out your image. So this is what I've been using. I do have a pressure washer but I usually only use that whenever I am uh, cleaning my screens. That's when I usually use the pressure washer. For, for washing out the image this is what I use right here. Alright so our image is done burning. Now you just go ahead and take this and peel it off. And then what I do is I put it here, then I hit some water on it so that it will hit some water here, flip it around, hit some water there. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start washing it out. Hopefully you guys can see the image as it starts to come out. So Alright, so as you can see, this one came out pretty good. Well, it actually came out really good. It didn't mess up the, the font, didn't mess up anything like that. Did both sides of it, and we're good to go. So a lot of people have been writing me and asking me that after they go ahead and they um, wash out their stuff, that they see all these streaks right here. And the streaks are okay, don't worry about it. It's just where the water was running. That's all it is. Uh, once this thing dries off, it's going to be good. It's not going to have none of these streaks and it's going to look clean and it's going to get hard so uh, however you want to do this right now it's dark outside or I will take this outside so that it could dry off really good so it's however you want to do this um, what I usually do sometimes is whenever I have my flash dryer on I just put it underneath the flash dryer and it dries it really fast because uh, of all this water so usually I'll stick it back under the light for a little bit all right so my battery had died but I went ahead and replaced it so what I was saying was with these streaks on here uh, you don't have to worry about it too much because once this emulsion gets hard and it dries you won't see them no more so what i'm going to do is i usually take them outside and put them in the sun but being like i said it's dark outside i'm going to stick them underneath this light right here all right so with the heat you're going to see some steam coming off of it because of the water with the heat but it's going to go ahead and it's going to dry the rest of this emulsion check this out all right so it's been under here for a little bit as you can see um you should be able to see some of the steam coming up and what it's doing is it's drying up the water 
and it's going to harden up the rest of this emulsion. So uh, we should just leave it like this for a little bit and it'll be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start doing the chest pieces now. So we got two of them that we're going to be doing for the chest pieces. Alright, so that's it. In this video, I just wanted to show you guys real quick um, how I coat my screens, how I burn my screens, and then how I wash them out. I um, also want to say thanks to Total Link Solutions for sending me that box and then that screen that they sent me with my logo on it. So I'm going to be trying that stuff out in a later video, so we'll see how it works later on. But again, like I always say, this is the way I do things. This is just the way um, I've taught myself to do it because um, I don't have all the big equipment you know, I do have people that I can reach out to to ask questions and, and I'm very thankful that whenever I do ask them a question, they always answer me right away. So I do appreciate that. All right, so that's it. We're not going to be pressing these right here. I just want to take you through the process of how I did my, what we just did right there. All right, so make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It helps us as creators, as YouTubers. It helps us if you hit that thumbs up. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And until next time, keep pressing.